Chu Feng travels through the world of the One Piece King and is rescued by Nami. By chance, he joins the Hat Pirates group. At the same time, I have obtained the template of Grey Wolf and can research various props. From then on, the art style of the pirate changed. Smog. Why can the ships of the Asterisk Hat group not only dive, but also fly? Big Mom. How could the giant race I've been dreaming of be achieved with just one pill? Watching the Gundam appearing in the top war, Bergaponk fell into self-doubt. Surprisingly, there is someone who can be stronger than him. Afterwards, powerful props such as the Spirit Time Room were developed, which enhanced the strength of the Asterisk Hat Pirates by countless levels. Looking at a look of admiration from his companions, Chu Fong waved his hand lightly, indicating that this was the Foundation Gru Felu novel network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Listing Remarks You are listening at NovelFull.audio Finally listed It's on sale tonight at 12 o'clock. It took a total of 10 days, and my mood is really complicated. Firstly, the Northeast Tiger would like to express its gratitude to all Yenzu Dada for their continuous support in reading. If it weren't for your continuous support, the Northeast Tiger would not have had the motivation and desire to bury its head in coding. After all, the support of readers is the author's greatest motivation. This statement is not just a statement. Especially when I wake up every day to take a look at the data and comments, and there are changes, it's really the happiest time. When there is an increase in bullish data, I am still very happy, although the increase is not particularly significant. Also, the Northeast Tiger is passionate about writing if the results are still good this time, Northeast Tiger will make a surprise update. Finally, I implore all Yenzu. Could you please give me a first order? First order. First order. The first order of a new book determines life and death. The final result depends entirely on the first order. Please, please dear Wu Yenzu, please. The Northeast Tiger has thanked everyone in advance here thank you very much adhere to originality in eliminate non-compliant commitment letters I, pen name, the lazy Northeast Tiger, guarantee that this signed work belongs to my own original creation and strictly follow the Felu writer's convention in the creative process. I adhere to originality and prevent the following violations. If there are any violations, I am willing to bear all consequences arising from it 1. Ensure that the signed work belongs to one's own original work and does not involve plagiarism or plot plagiarism in Chinese translation 2. Ensure that no third-party works or plot are plagiarized during the creative process 3. Ensure that this work is first published and the only contracted website on Felu Novel Network 3. Ensure compliance with laws and regulations during the creative process, including but not limited to, violations such as not involving politics, not involving pornography, gambling, drugs, promoting cults, not ghostwriting, not blocking or abolishing manuscripts, not hosting, not selling works or accounts, etc. 4. Ensure that regardless of the word count of the work, the signed work must complete the plot, never end, and never stop. 3 Things to Do When Reading Read, Collect, and Reward Chapter 1 Crossing Some Pits You are listening at NovelFull.audio Although I'm sorry for you, for your safety, please don't come over. Nami glanced at the distant sea, her eyes filled with pain. She really enjoys being with this group of people, but there's nothing she can do. They can't beat Ah Long. If Ah Long catches them, they will definitely be killed. I hope you can forget me as soon as possible, Nami sighed. You have your own path, I have my own path. Perhaps it won't be long before she can save enough money to redeem the village. Thinking of this, Nami's mood slightly improved, and then she noticed something floating on the sea not far away. What is that? After getting closer, Nami realized that it was actually a person. Lying face up on the sea, looking at the ups and downs of the chest, there should still be breath. Kind-hearted Nami sighed and said, forget it, meeting me is also your luck. If you haven't seen it, 
it's okay. Since you've seen it, just give him a hand. After Nami rescued the person, she remembered that if she had brought him back to the village, would she have been killed by Ah Long and his team? But she couldn't make the decision to throw someone into the sea. Ah. Nami looked at Chu Fong lying on the ground with a headache. Let's see if we can secretly bring someone inside. Unfortunately, when they arrived at the village of Kakexia, they were still spotted by a fisherman. Hey, Nami, who is the man you're carrying? The fisherman looked at Nami with a puzzled expression and said, Is it a trophy? Then a ferocious smile appeared, Exactly, I'm missing a sandbag lately. Can you give it to me? It's best to use humans to make sandbags or something. Unfortunately, there are not many disobedient humans, and there is not much opportunity to take action. Nami hesitated for a moment upon hearing the words. Do she want to hand over this person? To be honest, this person is not related to her, and even if he dies, he has nothing to do with her. I don't know why, she just can't bear to see this person die here. Finally, Nami thought of a saying, this is the kind of friend who helps me earn money together. He is injured now, I need to take him home to rest. We will continue to act together afterwards. Friend. The fish man hesitated for a moment before finally nodding and letting Nami go. He knows what Nami means by making money. A hint of disdain suddenly appeared in her heart. Does this woman really think that Ah Long will keep his promise? Oh, if she wants to take this, let's take it. Anyway, he will go back and talk to Ah Long about this matter. As for how to deal with it, it's not his business anymore. Seeing that the fish man had not stopped her, Nami breathed a sigh of relief. She was really afraid that this guy would take this person away without caring, and he would definitely die. You can't die, Nami glanced at the person behind her and said, You owe me a lot. At least we need to give money. My head hurts so much. Chu Fong, who woke up, grinned in pain. Did you hit your head? Then he opened his eyes and glanced around, realizing that he was lying on a bed. It seems that we have already arrived in a different world. And the decorations on this bed, at first glance, are the place where girls live. Did you get saved by a girl? Feeling the knowledge in his brain, Chu Fong nodded, and the gods did not deceive him. Before coming to this world, Chu Fong met the so dot called gods. Because he died bravely for righteousness. So the gods promised to give him the golden finger he wanted, and then let him be reborn in another world. Chu Fong decisively chose the template of Grey Wolf while preserving the essence of humanity. As long as you give him time, he will be invincible. He can develop various bizarre things. The deity agreed and inserted the template into Chu Feng's body, while giving him a necklace, telling him that it was a defensive equipment that could withstand a fatal attack once a day. Afterwards, he was thrown into the world of pirates. Unfortunately, during the journey, Chu Fong passed out, otherwise he could have seen the brilliant starry sky. Raising his hand to touch the necklace on his chest, Chu Fang's eyes flickered with the means of registration. Although it was only once, it was enough. It's only a matter of time before he can manufacture weapons based on his abilities. The next step is to think about the future path. He is a scientist, and the best way is to stay within a power and steadily work on his inventions. Thinking of power, Chu Fong thought of the straw hat boy Lu Fei, why don't we join the straw hat gang? The scientists on the future pirate ship are good to think about. Are you awake? A beautiful female voice sounded, attracting Chu Feng's attention. Chu Feng turned his head and was momentarily stunned. Surprisingly, it's her. The new book set sail. If you like it, just throw in your data the preliminary data is important for the author. Thank you all. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. Chapter 2 Cute Nami you are listening at NovelFull.Audio. Did you bring me back? Chu Fong said awkwardly. Did he accidentally fall into the sea when he came back to this world? Really, since it's time traveling, 
why did it make him faint? This deity is not reliable either. Of course it's me, otherwise who else could it be? Nami said irritably, if it weren't for encountering me by chance, you would have drowned already. Otherwise, it would be eaten by sea beasts. She really didn't know what she was thinking at the time, bringing back such a drag on the oil bottle. The more she thought, the more angry she became. Nami looked at Chu Feng fiercely and said, You owe me ten million bailey, you know what? Chu Feng's mouth twitched at the words, which really matched the personality of this little thief cat. Can it be a bit less? Ten million is a bit true. No. Nami snorted, the grace of saving lives is greater than heaven. It's rare to have ten million bailey with you. Okay, Chu Feng touched his nose. After that, I will give you the money. As soon as she said this, Nami was stunned and immediately looked at Chu Feng with a golden light in her eyes. She just said that, she had no intention of really asking for this money. Can you see what this guy means? He really has it. Isn't it a young master from a big family? Thinking of this, Nami became excited. If that's really the case, her money would be enough. When will you give it to me? Looking at Nami's appearance as a financial fanatic, Chu Feng felt a bit embarrassed. I don't have it on me now, but I will give it to you in the future. What? Nami pursed her lips, feeling like she was bragging. Forget it, it's just a joke. Nami stood up and walked out. Let's go, go eat something first. You've been unconscious for so long, you should be hungry. By the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Nami, my name is Chu Feng. Chu Feng got out of bed and stretched lazily, then rubbed his stomach. I'm really a bit hungry. How long has he been in a coma? Damn it, an unreliable deity. Don't let me seize the opportunity, otherwise you will look good. After leaving the bedroom, Chu Feng saw another beautiful woman with blue hair and thought to himself that she must be Noki Gao. Yo, Nanmei's little lover is up. Noki said with a teasing expression on her face, Come and sit down, let's have some food together. I've told him he's not. Nami said helplessly. She has explained it many times, why doesn't my sister believe it? Noki Gao ignored Nami and brought a handsome guy back for no reason, saying there was nothing wrong, and she didn't believe it. Nami rolled her eyes when she saw this and walked over to Chu Feng, this is my sister, named Nokigo. This is Chu Feng. I don't intend to continue with any unnecessary explanations, hurry up and eat something. Noki smiled hi, is Zayananmiai shy it's really cute. Chu Feng, where did you meet Nami? Noki asked curiously. Where? Chu Feng swallowed the bread in his mouth and turned to look at Nami. What am I doing? Nami was speechless. Just tell me the truth. Chu Feng nodded and said, that should be on the sea. I don't know exactly which sea it is. At that time, he was not in a clear state, where did he know to go? That's it. Noki Gao Wen Yan had no doubts, and it was normal to meet at sea. After all, Nami has been traveling outside all these years. Your clothes don't look like an ordinary person, are they nobles from any country? Noki pointed high at Chu Feng's clothes, which were not affordable for ordinary people like them. You said that. Chu Feng scratched his head. My family bought it back then. But I'm not a noble, just an ordinary person. After all, in his world, money can buy good things, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be a noble. Noki Gao looked incredulous, but seeing that Chu Feng did not intend to admit it, she did not ask again. Let me tell you, I don't raise idle people here, Nami snorted. If you want to eat, you have to work, you know. When your injury is healed, you can take care of the orange orchard here. After coming here, it will be difficult to go out again. Bringing Chu Feng back was also a helpless move at that time. But it's okay, everything will change after she buys the village back. When they want to go out, they can go out, no one can stop them. 
One billion, one billion she's about to save enough. Taking care of the orange orchard Chu Fong glanced at Nami upon hearing this. Does this girl trust him so much? You should know that all the money this girl stole was left there. It was really unexpected cute. He likes it Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. Chapter 3 Two Pit Goods You are listening at NovelFull.audio Oh, by the way, I still need to go out for a while. You stay at home, said Nami as she finished her meal and walked out. She also had to go to the dragon park. By the way, please confirm if those idiots have followed over. If she comes along, she will have to find a way to save the person. Chu Fong nodded and did not choose to follow. He doesn't have any means of attack now, so we must hurry up and develop weapons. After seeing Nami leave, Noki Gao restrained his smile and looked at Chu Fong hesitantly, saying, You. You know what Nami has been doing all along. I know a little bit, Chu Fong nodded and immediately picked up the water from the table to drink. Noki raised her eyebrows and furrowed slightly. In this situation, would this man still be willing to follow Nami? If that's the case, he is indeed a person worth entrusting his life to. There's no way, as Nami's sister, Nokigo has an obligation to help her sister with the inspection. I know what you're trying to say, Chu Fong put down his cup and waved his hand, but you can rest assured that I'm a trustworthy man. By the way, do you have any tools here? A welding hammer or something. What are you going to do? Nokigo asked with some confusion. It seems that this man knows about Nami's situation. Since you know Nami's situation and are willing to come here, it proves that you are a trustworthy person. Just doing something self.defense, Chu Feng's mouth curved upwards. I forgot to tell you, I'm a scientist. In various senses. The so. called versatile. Scientist. Nokigo was a bit surprised. Is it really fake? This is the first time she has seen a living scientist, and she has always heard it in someone else's mouth or seen it in books before. What's so confusing about this? Chu Fong rolled his eyes. Don't say you don't even have tools. Now he doesn't have much time, he must make the weapon before the fight starts. Noki shook her head high and said, I really don't have one here, but Uncle Aegean should have one. Wait a moment, I'll go find him right away. Speaking, Noki stood up and walked out. If this is really a scientist, it's impossible to say what powerful things he can research. What if we can defeat Ah Long? What if suppressed for too long, Noki Gao really hopes this person is a hope. She is different from the innocent Nami, and Nokigo is very clear about how greedy Ah Long is. Will he let Nami go? With a sigh, Noki looked up at the sky and her eyes gradually became firm. Nami, no matter what, we are all fighting with you. If Ah Long and his team really don't keep their promises, then we can only fight against them. Sitting inside the room, Chu Fong could clearly see a suppressed emotion from Noki Gao's back. Don't worry, with me around, Ah Long is not a problem. If Luffy and his team don't arrive in time sorry, he took this head. Is that Ah Long Paradise? Usopp looked at Ah Long Paradise in the distance, his voice trembling. The pirates who came here from the Great Passage. His strength must be very terrifying, wouldn't he be killed if he clashed together? Let's go to other places on the island first to find the Golden Mary that Sister Nami is riding on, Johnny suggested. If the fish people here find out, it's over. It's impossible to say that all three of them will die here if they don't manage it well. Usopp nodded in agreement, it was a good decision. Sauron ignored the conversation between the two and picked up the one-word text from Hadao, then stood up. I'm ready to kill you, Sauron said calmly. Although what this woman is doing now doesn't appeal to him, it's still the captain's order. And he also wants to see how strong the so. called fish man is. I just don't know if there will be any swordsman inside. Why was it like this when I first came up? Usopp stared blankly, are you an idiot? We haven't found any clues yet. 
The opponent is that fish man. Johnny was also excited, he didn't want to die here. I don't like being so troublesome, Sauron turned his head and glanced at the distant Aaron Park, his eyes very indifferent. Luffy ordered me to bring that woman back. No matter who the other person is, I will bring her back. What about the fish man? Just chop it off. Yusup and Johnny exchanged a glance, then picked up a hammer and struck Solon's head. When Sauron woke up again, he found himself tied up by these two pitfalls. What do you guys mean? Quickly untie the rope for me. Are you idiots? If the enemy finds out, without my effective combat power, can you defeat the enemy? Sauron felt like he was going to die of anger. Unfortunately, these two guys didn't pay attention to Sauron, but were observing the Golden Mary in the distance. Since we have found the ship, then the people are not far away. Just as the two of them were happy, a few mermaids suddenly appeared in the distance, which frightened Yusop and made him explode. Afterwards, when the opponent was diving and rushing towards him, he abandoned Sauron. Looking at the two fish men rushing up, Sauron's mouth twitched. These two bastards, sooner or later will kill them. Why is this one person, said one of the fish men with some confusion. Most likely it drifted over from other places, right? Anyway, let's take it back and show it to brother Ah Long first. As for whether this person will die or not, it has nothing to do with them. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. Chapter 4 Universal Patch You are listening at novelfull.audio. These are some of the tools you need, Noki said as she wiped the sweat off her forehead. Can you see if it works? Sure, Chu Fong nodded after looking at it. These are enough. After Nokigo left, he wandered around the yard and found something that could make explosives. This is also an unexpected joy. What are you going to do? Aegean, who was following him, looked at Chu Fong with some caution. Although Noki Gao had explained to him who this person was, he was still a bit cautious. Chu Fong did not answer Aegean's words, but instead asked, Can you bear to watch Nami continue to suffer? Aegean was stunned for a moment, then his face turned cold. Do you know what? I know everything. Chu Fong snorted, I know exactly how hard that girl worked. She stole something from a pirate. Which time wasn't a fight. If there is any carelessness, you will die in the hands of the other party. Even as a young girl, if you fall into the hands of the other person, sometimes death is actually a kind of liberation. Ah Jian fell silent. He didn't even know about these things. That's why she has such a big reaction. If there are any problems, Nami's efforts will be in vain. That Ah Long promised Nami that as long as she earns 100 million, she will. Are you so naive, uncle? Chu Fong interrupted, wake up, what do you think the other person is? They are pirates. Shake your head, don't worry, I won't do anything for the time being, said Aegean as he picked up something from the ground and walked towards the warehouse at least until Colonel Mouse arrives, he won't do anything. He needs to show Nami the real face of that bastard all along. Not all pirate groups are like straw hat pirate groups. Glancing at the sky, it's still morning and there's plenty of time. As he watched Chu Fong enter the warehouse, Aegean fell silent for a moment, then turned to Nokigo beside him and said, Is he really trustworthy? To be honest, this young man is a bit elusive to him. Is it a strong person? It shouldn't be a problem. Noki nodded high. You know what Nami does. In this situation, if we can still be together, we will most likely stand together. More importantly, Nokigo does not believe that humans will seek refuge with the group led by Ah Long. After all, they are extremely disgusted with humans. Scientists. Aegean murmured to himself, I hope he can wake up from this nightmare. Hmm. Chu Fong, who had finished making the weapon, saw Nami's ugly face and was momentarily stunned. What's wrong, why is your face so ugly? Chu Fong, you're a scientist, right? You can develop powerful weapons, right? 
Nami seemed to see hope and grabbed Chu Feng's hand, saying, isn't it? Hmm. Well. Nami hesitated for a moment and finally sighed, forget it, I'll save enough money soon. As long as she saves enough money, the village can definitely be redeemed by her. You're really an innocent girl, Chu Feng sighed. Tell me, what happened just now that made your face look so ugly? Nami glanced at Chu Feng, hesitated for a moment, and then recounted everything she had just encountered. I see, are you afraid that they will return to Ao Long paradise and be killed by Ao Long again? Chu Feng shook his head. You may underestimate their determination. Since I can come here to find you, I probably won't be afraid of those fish men, Chu Feng said as he lifted Nami's hand and applied ointment. This is the universal patch I made, which can cure the trauma in a short time. You're really a girl, you're really ruthless at yourself. It's not enough to be ruthless, Nami looked at her wound and said, if the bleeding is not enough, they won't believe I killed Yusop. If it were her willingness to cause Yusop's death, she would feel guilty for a lifetime. After all on this ship is her happiest time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have risked their lives to save Yusop and Sauron. Ha! Huh. Feeling the tingling sensation coming from the wound, Nami's eyes were full of shock. Did you react so quickly? That's nature, this is something I made, Chu Feng said proudly. It's just a patch. He can make more than that, I have a little faith in your ability, Nami looked at Chu Feng with a pair of bright and lively big eyes. This is the first time she has seen such a magical thing. The new book set sail. If you like it, just throw in your data the preliminary data is important for the author. Thank you all. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. Chapter 5 Illustrate with a dagger you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Is there anything else? Give me more, Nami stuck out her tongue and said, this thing is very useful to me. After all, when approaching other pirate groups, she is easily injured. Why, are you still planning to go out and infiltrate the pirate group? You already know, Nami said as she sat in the nearby seat. It was Nokigo who told you. Really, this restless sister. But Noki knew it was within her expectations, after all, they both lived under the same roof. Chu Feng did not respond, which can be considered as tacit agreement. Nami didn't care either, but instead told her story with a low expression on her face. Including the experience of adoptive mother Belmare being killed by Ao Long. Back then, because of the two of us, Belmer couldn't take out the adult's share of money and was ultimately killed by Ao Long. If only Belmer hadn't picked me up back then. Nami clenched her fist and said, that's why I want to save up to 100 million Bailey, so that I can redeem the village. As long as I go out again, I can save enough. I. Chu Feng took a step forward and embraced the fragile girl, patting her back and saying, I'll help you. Don't think of yourself as an unnecessary person, I believe your mother has never regretted her decision. You are the continuation of her life. Upon hearing Chu Feng's words, Nami's heart trembled. Bell Mel. Do you really think so? Nami's eyes flickered with tears, and at this moment, she really missed Bell. You. Nami opened her mouth and was about to speak when she was interrupted by the chaotic sounds outside. What's going on? Nami glanced outside and frowned. Chu Feng also released his arm and pulled Nami up. Let's go out and see what's going on. After arriving outside, Chu Feng saw the iconic naval appearance and immediately understood it. This navy is here to search for Nami's treasure. Oh, it's really interesting. A group of pirates did not go to eliminate them here, but instead came to bully a little girl. What a disgusting style. The thief named Nami is you, isn't it? Colonel Mouse let out a mouse-like laugh. Cheeky, cheeky. According to our investigation, the treasure you stole from the pirates is hidden in this orange field, right? Although it was a question sentence, Colonel Mouse's tone was very affirmative. As if he had already obtained accurate intelligence. 
Upon hearing his words, Nami's pupils shrank and her face turned pale. Why would he know? Colonel Mouse was very satisfied with Nami's expression and said proudly, The other party is a pirate, so I won't blame you. But thieves are thieves, so the stolen goods you stole should be confiscated by us. All right, hand over all the stolen goods. This money is really easy to earn. Although it may be a bit unpleasant to give a portion to Ah Long, it is something that must be done for long dot term planning. Looking at Colonel Mouse's nauseating appearance, Chu Fong took a step forward. Now Nami should have understood what was going on. He's going to blow up this guy. Nami reached out to stop Chu Fong, indicating that he should not act recklessly. Then he pretended to be calm and looked at Colonel Mouse, saying, This is really unexpected. You are really passionate about work. Because I don't have the courage to confront the pirates, do I come to find the thieves to give myself extra points? That's really amazing, however, Colonel Mouse did not pay attention to Nami's words. Will he care about such small things? Money is the most important thing. Seeing that the other party was not planning to give up yet, Nami revealed her identity. I'll give you some advice first. I'm a cadre of the A-Long team. If you dare to touch me, A-Long will not sit idly by. Nami believes this guy would never dare to do anything to herself. At the same time, Nami also had some doubts in her heart about how the navy came to touch this place. You should know that all the previous navies were taken down by the fishmen. Otherwise, this place wouldn't have been under the rule of Ah Long for so long. Do you think this way we can negotiate on an equal footing? Colonel Mouse looked disdainfully at Nami, who was really an innocent little girl. Find me the stolen goods. With one command, all the navies began to move. Now, Nami was completely panicked. Especially as they were walking towards the location where they were hiding their treasure, Nami excitedly took out her weapons and knocked down the two navies to the ground. Is this what your navy should be doing now? Nami looked at Colonel Mouse with anger on her face. Aaron's gang not only killed people, but also destroyed a town. You should know. They are still ruling this island, trampling on human lives everywhere. But you ignored this big problem and instead searched for stolen goods from a thief's hand. Is this the style of the navy? Nami was truly disappointed with the navy at this moment. Humph, you're talking grandly. Colonel Mouse didn't intend to talk to Nami and continued to command his men to search for the location of the treasure. Until they knew the specific location, Nami immediately rushed up and knocked it down, I won't give you my money. That money is. That money is. This child's money is used to save the village of Kakexia. Aegean roared angrily, do you still have the right to take away this money, Navy? What are you talking about? Colonel Mouse glanced at Aegean. Do the police officers in the village want to preach to Colonel Navy? How much did Ah Long divide you into? Chu Fong asked lightly. Fifty percent. Colonel Mouse instinctively replied, and his face darkened. Kid, are you trying to talk to me? Are you getting impatient with living? Glancing at the three people present, Colonel Mouse pondered whether or not to take down all of them. That's why I said, you're so naive, Nami. Chu Fong sighed and casually threw the small robot bomb in his pocket. Ah Long won't let you go. Nami sat weakly on the ground, at this moment, she really didn't know what to do. Chu Fong looked up at Colonel Mouse and showed a friendly smile, I hope you can still stand and talk later. Three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward. Chapter 6 Explosion You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Colonel Mouse glanced at Chu Fong and felt something instinctively wrong in his heart. Why does this seemingly harmless guy give him a sense of danger? Most importantly, this guy knows his secret. Kill him. This guy is not on the list, just an insignificant figure. Kill it, then kill it. Anyway, no one cares. It's really ironic, Colonel, Chu Fong sneered, killing someone with just one word of disagreement. 
Is this the style of your navy? Shaking his head, he slowly lifted two fingers and said, Since that's the case, I can only send you on the road, what are you going to do? Don't make noise, Chu Feng slowly raised a finger and placed it in front of his mouth, saying, Someone is calling you, call me. Colonel Mouse was a bit confused, wondering what it was all about. Death. Chu Feng raised the corner of his mouth, then his eyes froze and he snapped his fingers, burst. Boom. Boom. I don't know when the micro-bomb robots that touched this group of navy suddenly exploded, turning them into brilliant fireworks. Looking at the only surviving navy, Chu Feng showed a sunny smile, accompanied by a trace of blood on his face, resembling a demon in the eyes of the navy. Don't be nervous, I won't kill you, Chu Feng waved his hand. Go back and give a message to your naval base, just say that this scumbag was killed by me Chu Feng, the future great pirate Chu Feng. If this scumbag is killed, it will be killed, but it cannot affect the village of Kakexia. Yes. Yes, the navy trembled and said, I, I. I know. He couldn't control his body with his upper and lower teeth stuck together. I'm really too scared. Hmm. Chu Feng nodded satisfied and patted the navy's shoulder, then his face darkened. Get out. Watching the navy crawling towards the distance, Chu Feng squinted his eyes. Do you think you would let it go like this? Sorry, I don't know. When Chu Feng patted him on the shoulder just now, he had already placed two robots on him, one was a miniature bomb robot and the other was a positioning robot. When he tells the people inside the base about his situation, the micro-bomb robot will explode. Chu Feng never intended to let go of these guys, including the group inside the base. Walking in front of Nami, Chu Feng crouched down and held her in his arms, ignoring Aegean's murderous gaze not far away and saying, Do you recognize reality now, Nami? Why? Upon hearing Chu Feng's voice, Nami's eyes began to sparkle with tears. Why? I just want to redeem the village. Just such a small wish. She spared no effort for so many years, narrowly avoiding death multiple times. But in the end, it turned out to be nothing. Nami clenched her fist and felt hatred towards Ah Long in her heart. I hate it so much. If I had known this, I should have fought against them in the first place. That Ah Long never intended to let you go from beginning to end, Chu Feng sighed. I'm just telling you this to make more convenient use of you. He just didn't expect that you could gather the money so quickly. After all, only those with hope in their hearts will not commit suicide and will live well. What Ah Long is interested in is Nami's drawing ability, we can't let her die. The tears in Nami's eyes couldn't stop, and she reached out and fiercely grabbed the tattoo of the dragon pirate on her shoulder, as if her nails were about to invade flesh and blood. Ah Long! Ah Long! Ah Long! Chu Feng reached out and grabbed Nami's hand, preventing her self harm behavior. Chu Feng! Nami lifted her tearful face and looked at Chu Feng, saying, Help me. Okay. Chu Feng smiled and reached out to rub Nami's hair. I'm going to destroy your nightmare now. Uncle Aegean, Chu Feng, who stood up, glanced at Aegean not far away and said, Take care of Nami and don't let her rush into the dragon park. Going there now, apart from increasing the pain, has no meaning at all. Okay. Ah Jian nodded with a somewhat complicated expression. Does this kid really have the courage to face Ah Long directly? In that case, I'll forgive you for holding my daughter just now. But after all, this kind of thing belongs to their own Kakexia village, and it's impossible for this young man to challenge Aaron Park on his own. Looking at Chu Feng's distant figure, Aegean pondered for a moment and said, Nami, I'm going to gather people, let's fight against them. But. No, but. Ah Jian said angrily, since Ah Long has already shattered his hope, there is no need for us to wait. Instead of living like this, it's better to give it a fight. Even if he dies, he must die in battle like a man. Three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward. 
Chapter 7 Breaking Nightmares You are listening at NovelFull.audio Aegean's speed was very fast, or in other words, the people in Kakexia village had already noticed something was wrong when they saw the navy walking towards Nami's house, so they picked up their weapons and waited. Quickly, everyone marched towards the dragon park with weapons in hand. On the other side, Chu Fong had already met all the members of the Straw Hat Pirates on the road. And at this moment, they are talking to Noki Gao. Hmm. Noticing Chu Fong, Noki hesitated for a moment. Chu Fong, why are you here? Chu Fong briefly recounted what had just happened and then said calmly, I want to go and kill Ah Long. Noki's high pupils shrank and her face was filled with anger. These bastards. I see, I've been deceiving them all along, haven't I? You mean, that bastard alone just made Nami cry, right? Sanji took a puff of smoke and said calmly. Chu Fong glanced at Shanji and said, what is he going to say? Now this is not your own business, Luffy stood up from the ground. She's my navigator. At this moment, Lu Fei looked calmly into the distance and said, brothers, let's go. That's exactly the direction of Aaron Park. Oh. X3 Chu Fong opened his mouth, how did it suddenly turn into this? He originally intended to take down that group of bastards by himself. Let's go. Usopp came over and patted Chu Fong. This is everyone's business. Taking a glance at the backs of the four, Chu Fong finally realized. Yes, this is everyone's business. Nami is not only his friend, but also a companion of this group of people. With a light smile, Chu Fong slowly followed up with his hands in his pockets, Hey, don't rush to take action later, let me blow up that building. That's Nami's nightmare. He wants to completely shatter the imprisonment that binds Nami. Listening to Chu Feng's words, Noki's eyes flickered behind her. Perhaps. He is Nami's best destination. Hey, where are they? Aegean and Nami rushed over with their people, all holding weapons. What are you? Noki looked a little dumbfounded. Where did these weapons come from? Noki Gao, where are they? Nami stepped forward and asked, they probably have already set off, haven't they? They have already arrived here at the fastest speed. Noki nodded high and said, the five of them have already gone, they just left. Let's go. Aegean waved his big hand, we can't let them take risks for us. Fight against that group of bastards. Spell it. At this moment, the people of Kakexia village are no longer afraid of the dragon pirates. Life is truly precious, love is even more valuable. If it's for freedom, both can be thrown away. They will fight for freedom. This is our long paradise, right? Luffy looked calmly at the distant wall, as if observing where to start. Yes, Usopp nodded. That's right here. Not long ago, he was saved here by Nami. I don't know how her injury is either. At this moment, all the people from Kakexia village rushed over, shouting slogans to punish Ah Long. Fight them. Spell it. Everyone, please wait a moment. Chu Fong stood in front of everyone and said, just hand over the Ah Long pirates to us. If you go, it's easy to get hurt. Our strength, Nami, is the clearest, so there's no problem handing it over to us. Nami looked at her partner in the distance and bit her lip. That's right, they're very strong, she said, but. No, but. Chu Fong glanced at Aegean and said, Uncle Aegean, could you please wait here with this group of people for a moment? The battle inside will soon come to an end. Just as Chu Fong was still speaking, Luffy had already begun to take action. A fierce punch hit the wall and directly collapsed it. Boom! Seeing this, Chu Fong had to quicken his pace and say, Nami, I will blow up this place and destroy your nightmare. Just wait for me here with Uncle Aegean obediently. After speaking, no longer waiting for Nami to reply, she turned around and ran towards Arong Paradise. After entering, 
Chu Feng noticed that Lu Fei and others were watching him. They still remember what Chu Feng said earlier. Thinking of this, I couldn't help but feel a little moved. This is the tacit understanding between men. Immediately released the largest explosive robot in his pocket and flew towards the building behind Ah Long. Are you looking for death? Ah Long looked at the few people with anger on his face and said, and that Roranoa, I haven't gone to find you yet, but instead you brought him to your door. Exactly, I'll kill you all together. I'm afraid you won't have this opportunity, Chu Feng slowly raised a finger and said coldly, explosion. Bang! The power of the bomb was immense, instantly blowing up the building of Aaron Park into ruins. Nami outside couldn't help but shed tears when she saw this scene. Has this imprisonment that has bound her for many years finally been shattered? Don't worry, they can definitely win, Noki said, holding Nami in her arms with great concern although she is not sure why she has such confidence in this group of people. Hmm. Nami nodded, full of confidence in her partner and Chu Feng at this moment. If you like the works of young authors, please submit a data submission thank you all. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. Chapter 8 Explode ya into a mosaic. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Damn it. Ah Long, who was buried in the ruins, rushed out with a fierce roar on his face. How dare you, you bastard, ruin my hard work. Immediately, blood flowed down the corner of his mouth, and the shock wave from the explosion just now still injured him. So what? Chu Feng said coldly, that's a nautical chart drawn by Nami, you don't deserve it. You're Ah Long, right? Luffy looked at Ah Long with a fierce expression in his eyes. Who are you again? Ah Long glanced at Lu Fei, who he had never seen before, and where did the garbage come from? Upon hearing this, Lu Fei didn't respond, but instead walked step by step to Ah Long's face and then punched him hard in the face. Touch. Boom. Ah Long flew backwards and hit the distant wall heavily. You kid. Ah Long raised his head and looked at Lu Fei fiercely. I'm going to break you down in eight pieces. Can any cat or dog come and provoke him now? Ah, uh, Luffy said calmly, if you can do it. Looking at Lu Fei's appearance, Ah Long suddenly became furious. What do you mean, kid? Look down on me. You bastard, how dare you take action against brother Ah Long? The little fish man was furious and rushed out of the water, intending to give Luffy a hard lesson. Upon seeing this, Chu Feng grabbed Shanji, who was planning to charge up, and slowly raised a finger. What are you doing? Sanji was a bit anxious and couldn't let them take action against Luffy. However, answering him was just one word. Explosion. Bang. I don't know when the miniature bomb robot that appeared next to them suddenly exploded, instantly turning it into a mosaic. Along's pupils shrank and he turned to look at Chu Feng, his crimson eyes seeming to be cannibalistic. You don't have a chance to take action against me, Chu Feng looked at Ah Long with a smile on his face. Your opponent is Luffy. Immediately ignoring the other person, he said to the few people behind him, Don't worry, I won't let the minions affect your battle. That octopus man is a swordsman of the six blade flow, and he can just train your skills for Sauron. Is that right? Upon hearing this, Sauron showed a hint of grimace and walked up with the word, he Dao, in his hand. It's you. Xiaoba looked at Sauron walking over and became angry. You bastard killed my compatriots, right? How dare you lie to me? If I had known he had done all this, I would have killed him in the first place. Ah, it's me, Sauron said calmly. No matter what grudges you have, you can kill me. The situation is different now. Now it's not that you want to kill us, it's that we want to kill you. After speaking, Sauron drew his sword. This is the first time he has seen a swordsman with six swords. I hope he can have a great time playing. 
After seeing that Sauron had already faced his opponent, Chu Fong withdrew his gaze and looked at the remaining fish men, saying, there are still three guys who can be considered powerful. You two should choose. One is a master of fishman karate, Chu Fong pointed to Krubi. He can be considered a master of physical arts. The other one can spit out droplets of water from his mouth, but its power is similar to that of a bullet. Chu Fong pointed to Jiu and said, Wusu Apu, do you want to fight him? Speaking of which, both of you are snipers. Um. Wuthorpe's legs trembled a bit, let's just forget about it. Just rely on him. Jiu said disdainfully, I can kill him in one go. How dare you fight him even with this trash? It's really a joke. Damn it, Gunpowder Star. Yusop pulled out a slingshot and hit Jiu's face directly, flying him upside down. Although it didn't cause much harm, it was extremely insulting and directly angered Jiu. I will definitely treat you well. Watching Jiu rushing towards him, Yusop panicked instantly. He's a sniper and can't engage in close combat. Thinking of this, Yusop immediately turned to the side for help. Unfortunately, Sanji had already gone to fight Krubi, while Chufon walked aside to clean up the other mermaids. Is no one helping me anymore? Yusop's face turned green. Come on, Wusu Apu, Chu Fong waved his hand at Wusu Apu, I believe you can get rid of him. This fish man's melee ability is actually not strong, just be careful with his mouth. Damn it, you wait. Yusop only had time to shout before running out. Damn it, stop me. Only idiots can stand still. Don't let me catch you, otherwise I'll break your bones all over. Jiu, who was chasing outside, was stunned when she saw the people on both sides, and then her face darkened. You are from Kikexiu village, holding weapons in your hands. Are you planning to rebel? Since that's the case, then I. Gunpowder Star. Boom. Jiu, who was hit by Gunpowder Star, had veins bulging on her face and immediately gave up on these guys from Kikexia village. Anyway, their location is right there, just go and kill them later. But this long nose, he must get rid of it. It's really despicable. Stop me. Only an idiot would stand still. Yusop shouted without looking back, while thinking about how to get rid of this guy. Just like that man said. As a sniper, he is not weaker than anyone else. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. Chapter 9 Sooner or later, I will blow you up. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Xiao Ba. Ah Long stood up and said lightly, Call for a Mu. Okay. Upon hearing this, Xiao Ba gave up his plan to attack Sauron and walked to the water's edge, making a trumpet like sound with his mouth. What does this mean? asked Sauron, somewhat puzzled, feeling the vibration of the earth, a hint of fear flashed in Nami's eyes. Is it coming? That sea beast from the great waterway. Come out, Mu Mu. Xiao Ba opened his arms and shouted eagerly. But when he saw the Mu clearly, Xiao Ba was a bit dumbfounded. Why does this child seem to have been beaten up? What, it's him. Lu Fei glanced at it with a calm expression. Isn't this a sea beast that they beat up? When you see clearly how many people are flying on the road, turn around and leave. He doesn't seem to be beaten up again. Wait, where are you going, Mu Mu? Little Ba was a bit dumbfounded. Why did he just come and leave? Mu Mu, what are you doing? Ah Long glanced at Mu Mu and asked in a plain tone. Upon hearing Ah Long's voice, Mu Mu instantly froze in place. The fear deep within is awakened once again. You're just a little capable, Chu Fong looked at Ah Long disdainfully and said, didn't you see this little guy scared and crying? Little guy. Upon hearing this, Long turned his head and glanced at Chu Fong. Do you have any misunderstandings about the word little? You wouldn't think this little guy is very big, would you? Chu Fong looked at Ah Long in surprise. Didn't you come from the great navigation channel? 
The sea beasts inside are much larger than this, especially those in the windless zone. Which individual is not one kilometer long? Compared to those, this little guy is just enough to fill his teeth. Who are you and why do you know all this? Ah Long's face became serious. People from all over the world should not know the situation there. By the way, is this man the one Nami brought back before? At this thought, Long's face darkened. Are you also from the Great Navigation Channel? I guess so, Chu Fong waved his hand and glanced at it with a moo, saying, Little one, please leave. If you don't leave, you will probably be eaten as a dim sum. This sea beast looks quite cute, Chu Fong is a bit hesitant to take it. If it's a lion's head, he will take action and kill the other party. Hey! Luffy reacted and looked at Sanji not far away, saying, Sanji, can this guy eat? Sure, Sanji kicked Kruby's hand away and said, the meat of this sea beast is quite good. That. Luffy looked at Moo Moo and began to imagine his taste in his heart. Startled Moo to the point of exploding her hair, she turned around and ran away. It's useless for Ah Long to shout from behind. Wait a minute. Luffy thrust his legs into the floor and reached out to grab the mooing body, saying, My food, don't run. Upon hearing Luffy's words, Moo Moo swam even harder. Finally, due to the slippery scales, he broke free from Luffy's arm. It's a pity. Lufe looked at Moo's distant figure with some regret, almost able to eat delicious food. Surprisingly, you could scare Moo like this. What have you done? Ah Long was a little curious. Oh, I just beat him up when I came here earlier, Luffy said as he wanted to pull out his foot. Hey, why can't I pull it out, said the person with a silly expression, are you an idiot? X3. Chu Fong is going to be furious with this guy. Even if you want to catch him, there's no need to poke your feet into the ground, right? Luffy is a bit awkward, what should I do? Oh, I can't pull it out anymore. A crimson light shone in Ah Long's eyes. Let me help you, really, thank you very much, Luffy said sincerely, leaving Ah Long speechless. You don't really think I'm going to save you, do you? With a sneer, he walked up to Luffy's side and slammed the floor up, lifting it up to his head with Luffy. Devil Fruit's ability is like a dry duck, so you can suffocate me to death. Ha ha ha. Killing him directly is really too cheap for him, we must make him feel the cruelest torture. Luffy. X2. Sauron and Sanji are a bit anxious. Luffy is a demon fruit power, and once he falls into the sea, it's all over. Chu Fong frowned and said, you're really a troublemaker. Then he slowly lifted his finger and said, burst. Boom. This time, Chu Fong accurately controlled the power of the explosion, only shattering the stone under Lu Fei's feet without harming his body. Done. Luffy looked down in panic and immediately realized something was wrong. Hey! The stone under my feet was actually shattered by the explosion. Is it made by Chu Fong? Thank you very much, Chu Fong. Lu Fei said gratefully, then stretched out his arm and grabbed Chu Feng's body. The tremendous force almost prevented him from flying out directly. What are you doing, bastard? Chu Feng was almost scared to death. His current physical fitness is no different from that of an ordinary person. Immediately, he took out the iron rod from his pocket and fiercely thrust it onto the ground, fixing himself in place. Lu Fei kicked his legs against the stone behind him, and at the same time, he grabbed Chu Feng's arm and began to exert force, bouncing back directly. Looking at Chu Feng crouching in place with his arms covered, Luffy apologized, I'm sorry. Sooner or later, I'll blow you up, Chu Feng gritted his teeth and said. He could now feel Sarong's emotions. At the same time, I exclaimed that my body has become much stronger than before. Is it because of the reason for coming into this world? The young author seeks a wave of votes and flowers thank you everyone three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward.